Acer gives us an inexpensive way to get ready for the AI-powered future with the Acer Swift Go 14. Now, this is one of the very first laptops to have one of Intel's new Core Ultra chips, and those are chips that include an NPU, and that is going to help you with onboard AI processing. That's something that's just starting to bubble up now, but it's going to become more and more important as we go through the rest of 2024 and get into 2025 and beyond. What's really interesting to me about this is that for $899, not only do you get that Intel Core Ultra CPU, you also get 16 gigs of RAM, you get a pretty big one terabyte SSD, you get a high res webcam, uh, you get a 16 by 10 uh, matte display screen, which I like a lot, and you get Intel Art Graphics, which is a step up from the regular integrated graphics that you usually get in this kind of mid-priced laptop. The display is something I like a lot. It's 1920 by 1200, so it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen instead of 16 by 9. But more than that, this is a matte finish on the display. And I really like that. That helps you kind of see in different lighting conditions, a lot less glare on the screen, even though, frankly, the screen gets pretty bright. I've been using it at about 50% brightness most of the time. And on a lot of other laptops, I have to crank up the brightness a lot more in order to see. So if you can keep the brightness turned down, that's really going to help with your battery life in the long run. At just a hair under three pounds, this is actually pretty light for a 14 inch laptop. When I first got this, I handed the box that it came in to my wife and then, and she said, oh, is there actually a laptop in this? It feels like it's almost empty. And that's the nice thing about getting something that weighs about the same as a 13 inch laptop, but it's got this bigger 14 inch screen. Now, whereas a lot of ultra portable laptops these days just have, let's say, two USB-C Thunderbolt ports, and that's it. And you have to use a lot of dongles and connections to hook things up to it. In this case, you do get those two USB-C Thunderbolt ports. You also get two USB-A ports, and you get an HDMI output and a mini SD card reader and an audio jack. Everybody pretty much still has that, but that's a pretty big collection of ports and connections. And if you don't have to carry around a dongle with you, well, that just makes it a little bit lighter of an overall carry to take this around with you. But the real reason that the Acer Swift Go 14 is notable is because it is one of the first AI ready laptops. And that means of course, with that Core Ultra CPU, you get the NPU along with it. And as more and more local AI apps come around, you're going to be able to run them more efficiently because the NPU is going to take care of a lot of that processing. Right now, there are not a ton of examples just yet, but they're just starting to bubble up now. Uh, for example, Copilot from Microsoft is going to go local and run off your local machine. Uh, something like NVIDIA Chat RTX, which does need an NVIDIA card. You can download that and run that AI locally. Uh, Photoshop is going to add a lot of local AI processing eventually. Right now, all that stuff happens in the cloud, uh, but there are a couple of AI experiences experiences even built into this right now. You can use Windows Studio effects, for example, with the webcam, and that does things like track you as you're moving throughout the frame. It does automatic blurring behind you in a smarter way than let's say Zoom does by itself. It's also got some special Acer AI audio uh, processing built in that when you're on, let's say a conference call, it'll filter out other voices and other sounds, whether it's traffic or kids yelling in the background or a dog barking or a TV on. It does it a lot more effectively than something like Zoom does it, where it's just built into the software. It's not using any actual local AI for that. But even right now, at the very beginning of the AI era, if you just look at the actual raw performance of the Core Ultra chip in here, and it's the first Core Ultra laptop that I've been able to test this year, uh, the performance is really great, especially compared to other laptops in that $800, $900 range. Um, I got really good performance in our standard benchmarks, uh, just in everyday tasks. And with the Intel Arc graphics, again, it's a nice step up from the integrated graphics a lot of laptops come with. It's not going all the way to uh, dedicated discrete graphics, but I was able to run some very modern games on it. I ran the Dying Light benchmark and I got over 30 frames per second pretty consistently, even though that's a pretty challenging open world game. So I thought that's a nice little extra to have in something that's very portable like this that you might just throw in your bag and take on a work trip with you. And let's say you don't have your gaming machine with you or your console, you can still do a little bit of gaming on it. I found battery life to also be pretty impressive. I got about eight hours on most days when I use this. And going forward, when we do more AI stuff on systems like this, having those NPU cores are really going to help out because they're low power cores that take care of a lot of that instead of kicking it to the high power cores where that's going to eat up a lot more battery life to do that kind of stuff. So you'll be able to maintain long battery life, but still run low local AI apps on a system like this. And there's one thing on this system that I have not seen a lot of other places, especially at this price. I used to complain that laptops had low res webcams a lot of the time, and then eventually everybody got full HD webcams, so I was happy. This is one of the first laptops I've
I've seen with an even higher resolution webcam. This is a 1440p webcam, which again is something that you do not see very often, especially not on a laptop in this price range. So for the overall excellent performance, the really good battery life, the high res webcam, the generous RAM and storage combination, and the fact that this is gonna get you ready for the next generation of local AI apps, the fact that you can get the Acer Swift Go 14 for under $900 makes it feel like a really good value for me and also like it's a laptop that's ready for the rest of this year and next year and beyond.